Σε όλο το Γιούλιο Πάρτο λίγο, πάμε λίγο NBA 2K Ξέρω Ξέρω να έχεις game, yes of course We're playing with 7 and 6ers Είμαι ο Αλεξάρης, καλώς ορίζατε σε ένα καινούριο επεισόδιο του NBA 2K21 My Career Yo, I'm the 2K and C And I'm here to talk about upcoming games with events Τις πρώτες μου σεζόν σαν ρούκι στο NBA, Phoenix Suns, το 16, κάποιος μου πάρει το 9, δεν με αφήνουν να πάρω το 9, το λογικά του τον βλέπω σύντομα, θα βγήσω τρίτς. Μπορείς να βρεις το παλιά βίντεο τη σειρά ακριβώς από το παραπάνω, να πες ακριβώς το προηγούμενο μέρος, δεν το έχεις δει, πες να το τσεκάρεις. Ξεκινάμε για ένα πολύ ποιοτικό και ξαναπαστικό. Έλα, Joel Embiid, να γίνω ο μπαμπάς σου. Danny Green, Dwight Howard, Ben Simmons, who is my brother? Hi and welcome. And with Kevin Thanks, last David is showing that maturity. Thanks for that report. Now look at Philadelphia's starting lineup: Harrison and Bead together in the middle. Ben Simmons is out there with Shake Milton, and it's Green in at the three. And for Phoenix, pain, you know, camera on pain. Checked in for Phoenix, and Philadelphia also making a switch. Howard's checked in. Well, we've seen some head coaching changes, Greg. We're early in the season. How long does it take to fully implement? Do you think a a new system with a new coach? You know, it's a tough question, Kevin. It really kind of can depend on how difficult or complicated the system is. But all things being equal, the, the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better. Junior the pass to Crowder. And Crowder comes it in. And he wasn't about to do anything that would get him in trouble there. Nope, uh, up and in with a one-hand uh, finish, uh, the most basic possible. He still made it look good. Back to Simmons. To the inside, Harris. Lead pass was put in just the right spot. Harris has got eight points. You got to recognize Simmons is a pass first guy, which is why you can't leave somebody open around. Payne passes to Junior. Outside Crowder on the high post, and he hits the jump shot. Ten points for him. Punch, counter punch. Impressive offensive production early on. Hey guys, this is going to be fun now. I mean, we've got ourselves a shootout on tap here. Crowder with the steal. Now, here's Junior. Defense is right there. No good. Shot missing. Look at the last game for the Suns. It was a win against the Grizzlies in Memphis. Yeah, and that one, their intensity on the offensive end was not matched by their opponent. That led to some easy buckets. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Um, once that happens, then you're in trouble. You know, Greg, we can all agree that Joel Embiid's a superstar in the league with his play, but you get the feeling he's the most criticized superstar in the league right now as well. You know, pundits and fans have questioned his fitness, his fit, but at the end of the day, he does get it done. And the numbers speak for themselves. Embiid's an outspoken guy which can invite a lot of criticism. On the wing, Milton, defended by Crowder, six to shoot, here's Embiid, can't hit that one, and Phoenix will come the other way, and guys, this is the first they're seeing of the 76ers this year. And their series last year was a bit of a comparison between the two conferences. Both were in the middle of the pack. Well, you said it. I mean, both oh, of the teams are in the middle of the pack in their conference, which more accurately show the conference's strength than a team at the top or the bottom. At least that's how I like to look at it. The 76ers trail by four. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Pass to Milton. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Back to Embiid. Now here's Simmons. He's guarded closely. Embiid kicks to Milton. Kept alive. And the shot goes in from Embiid. Embiid's got seven points in the game. 
Boy, proving to be a handful once again, guys. MB, so tough to keep off the glass because of his agility and size. And so is Jay Crowder. In chatting earlier with Ben Simmons, he addressed this. How about the defensive impact Embiid has on the floor? He's a great rim protector who can swipe an area pass every so often. Yeah, I agree with you, Greg. I mean, he's just so big. He's mammoth. I mean, he's not only tall and long, he's deep, too. He's a thick guy. So he's an excellent rim protector, discourages inside attempts at a high rate, clogs up the paint. That length is a huge asset. And then his foot movement, his agility for a guy of his size is pretty impressive, too. There's the pass to Milton. But three, Howard trying to free himself. It's just, it's, it's not there right now with this team leading perhaps. You know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlled the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game. And let's help them take this lead. Hilton the pass to Howard. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Uh, beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. And here is Kyle. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. That one on Maxi. Pretty obvious from that particular play. Cobb doesn't mind physical contact, especially when he's got his eye on the hoop. And Cobb drops both of them. And that's another area where he is just a superb player. Excellent at the free throw. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. 76ers lead by four. And after a quick break, we're going to come right back with the start of the fourth quarter. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And how about the floor general shifts right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. Well, clearly he's the guy that stirs the drink for him, and that's how he does it, with his dynamite passing skills. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth, they've got Howard. Tobias Harris is out there with Green. Then there's Maxi, and it's Milton, and it's a two-goal. Harris outside. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. Here's Junior. Has to come. Has to Kaminski. Over Maxi. Shot is good from the 76ers. Lead is cut down now to just two on the basket from Kaminski. You can't leave someone open around Kaminski. When you do, he makes sure to hurt you for that mistake. Here's Harris, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Tobias Harris, a crusader for a cause that isn't talked about too much. He has a huge concern about sleep deprivation and the effects it has on athletes. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Here's Junior. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got his fourth rebound in this one. And here they go. And contact down the shot, so he'll be shot the free throws here. And at 250 LBs, Embiid is a terror inside. Using that large frame, he draws those fouls. Andre is checked in for Dario Schoen. And he doesn't let the pressure get to him. Cool and confident from the line. The Suns trailing. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. 
Oh, oh here we go. Oh, 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 nobody. Oh, 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 cool as they come. Ben Simmons loves taking these big shots. We've got 113 left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Payne. It's Junior, top of the key. There's the feature. It's in! And that shot brings them to within just one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. And Bede kicks to Simmons. And the foul called on Cameron Payne. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. The free throw drops for MB. So it's the 76ers taking the win in a close game. This win such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy. A great feeling to come out strong. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, I did speak with head coach Eric Spolstra. The feeling is that the game has slowed down some for DeAndre Ayton, which means he's making quicker and better decisions. Coach said last year you could cross him up at times, and that helped contain his production. But this year is a different story. Ayton's taken those big strides mentally that all great players seem to do. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Junior, powder kicks to Bridget. Two on the clock. Some solid defense from Butler. It's a shot you would think he would make, but he just doesn't make it all the time. Here's Drogic from outside. Bridges with the ball. So for the Heat, the last game a loss to the Nuggets. Well, when you're facing a team that's feeding off the crowd's energy, you have to bring your A game. In. They didn't do that defensively. It looked like there were communication breakdowns all night. Deadly, especially when you're on the road. Feeds it to Junior. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And there it is again on a lot of their possessions this first half. They've established great inside position. I get looking it over. Hero passes to Butler. Can't fault the play call, even though he couldn't convert. That's a good shot. What you love about Crowder, he gives you a little bit of everything at both ends. I mean, defensively, he'll take on anybody. He's smart, draws a lot of charges. Offensively, he can stretch the floor and he'll make the extra pass. He's also an opportunistic rebounder. And here's Frank. He'll bring it up for the Miami Heat. It's a five-point game. It's a five-point game. Butler against Bridges. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Miami shooting their first free throws of the game. Second quarter of play with around two minutes gone so far. Down low. It's tipped. Stolen by none. And here we go. It's Butler. On the court for the Heat. We've got Hero. Myers Runner is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Kelly Olynyk, and it's none in at the point. Kaminsky uses the glass to finish the lane. Kaminsky's got the lead up to 11 now for Phoenix. And Matador defense. That's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. None passes to Hero. Now here's Olenek. Six on the shot clock. The Heat need to get a shot off. Here's Butler. No good there. Some solid defense from Aiton. 
Here's Bridges, and there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And the foul goes against Miami. This is his first free throw of the game. We know the NBA is looking to get rid of the one-and-done rule pretty soon. Adam Silver, Greg, saying he thinks the league can create a better system. Do you think so? I think he can. they can create a better system for some. Um, I think the growth of the G League, no doubt, is instrumental in that new system. Uh, and now these young rookies can get the playing time in lower-tier pro games as they continue to develop. But I think still the collegiate game plays a significant role. The experience of going to college, even for a year, uh, can be invaluable. There are, there are pros both ways, college or the G League. Agree? I, I do. I'm just glad it's not a one-size-fits-all proposition. Now you have the option. Not every kid wants to go to college and have that experience. Looker looking around. Junior with it. He's against Olenek. The Heat trail by 11. Here's Butler. And slam dunk by Butler. That's a fantastic dribble move from Butler. He's extremely confident with his dribble. Phoenix has gone 2 for 5 from 3 point land since the end of the first. Hook around side. Pass to Crowder. Over Butler. Another shot. And Aiton with the layup. Aiton's got his second basket of the game. And using that 7-5 wingspan, putting it back off the miss. One of Aiton's specialties. To the middle. Here's Achua. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's going to be on charge. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. Some changes for Phoenix. Jay Crowder's checked in for charge. And Mikael Bridges subbed in for Langston Galloway. The pass to Bridges. Now, here's Junior. To the paint. Butler with the steal. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Bradley, no one around him. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. He fired up the Jets. Avery Bradley beats his man up court. Took care of business. Inside. Four seconds left. And it's Junior missing. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. Suns lead by two. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ballgame. On the floor for Miami, starting the fourth. We've got Kendrick Nunn. Kelly Olenek is out there with Jimmy Butler. Then it's Robinson, and it's Bradley in at the two-guard position. To the inside, and stolen by Butler. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Butler with the ball. The game now all time. This is where Avery Bradley's most effective, getting his points within the flow of the offense. Now, here's Kahn, defended by none. Bridges against Robinson. Shot clock at six. Junior kicks to Bridges over Robinson. Bridges misses. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard in this game or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. The Sun shooting just 35%. They've got to get better looks. Outer dishes to Junior. Back to Crowder. Goes up on the block. Rebound by Butler. That's a good opportunity. But he needs to go up a little stronger, in my opinion. And Bradley gets it to go. Great floor awareness there by Jimmy Butler. Sensing one of his guys is open and gets it to him. And the Suns call time. And just trying to get some traction offensively. Boy, it hasn't been pretty. You know, this is a good time to maybe switch up. Five seconds left in the game. Junior. 
The offensive rebound. Back to Moore. So it's Phoenix picking up the win. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor. Completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And, and whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And that's why they're going to walk away with the win. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later. Στο YouTube, τα live μας εμπορούσαν να τα έχουμε κάνει στο Twitch, υπάρχει και αυτό και γενικά τους συμπεριγραφή. Δεύουμε για τις εξαρτώσεις της εγγραφής. Like το βιντεάκι, γράψε στο σχόλιο άμα θέλεις να παίξω κάτι διαφορετικό, άμα κάτι άλλο το οποίο γουστάρεις και θες να το δεις. Τα λέμε στο επόμενο επεισόδιο.